Hi guys, today we're looking at complementary angles within um, trigonometry. Um, this is quite an important concept, so I thought I might throw this in a little bit early. So we're looking at a triangle, um, a triangle ABC. Okay, so we've got it in triangle ABC. Now, before we look at this, I'm going to draw an angle in there. I'm going to draw theta in there. Okay, so my my, my theta. Now. Let's say, for example, that theta was 30 degrees. What would angle B have a value of? Well, that's 90. So the three of them have to add up to give 180. So then that would have to be 180 take away 90, which is 90. So if that was 30, that would be 60. If that was 60, that would be 30. Okay. So because they have to add up to give 90 degrees. And actually, we um, hopefully remember that complementary angles mean they're up to give 90. So when we're talking about complementary angles within the trigonometry, we're looking at these two angles here. So I'm going to actually write this as 90 minus theta. So if that's 30, that's 90 minus 30, that's 70 minus 90 minus 70, etc. So these are complementary because they add up to give 90 degrees. So we're going to look at what sort of happens, some um, nice little relationships that sort of work out when we're looking within our trigonometry. So we're going to first start to look at things like sine theta, cos theta, and tan theta. So this brings back into our Sokotoa. So in this case, if we look at sine theta, okay, it's opposite over hypotenuse, so it's A over C. If I look at cos theta, okay, theta, it's B over C. If I look at tan theta, then it's A over B. And I'm going to look at the values now, very similarly, of sine 90 minus theta, of cos 90 minus theta, and of tan 90 minus theta. And have a look and see if there's any sort of similar values there. So let's have a look, sine 90 minus theta, so this case. So again, if that was 30, this would be 60, so we're doing sine 60. So we're doing opposite over hypotenuse, so B over C. We'll be doing cos theta is A over C. And tan theta will be B over A. Okay. Now, you might start to recognize a couple of things that it might be equal. So we can see here, actually, if looking it through here, if I look at sine theta, which is A over C, that has the same value of cos 90 minus theta, because that's, they're both A over C. Likewise, if I look at cos theta, that has the same value as sine 90 minus theta, which in this case is equals B over C. All right, And they're the only two sort of relationships that occur at the moment. So at the moment we can see, if, for example, if sine theta, if it was sine 30, it would be equal to cos 90. Okay, or sine 70 would be cos 20. So they're complementary. But let's have a look if we delve into some more trig. We know, we know that these are three trig ratios, but we learned a few more trig ratios. We learned the following. We learned about sec theta. We learned about cosec theta. And we learned about our... Um, cot theta or a cotangent theta. So sec theta we know is our inverse of 1 over sine theta. So 1 over cos theta, 1 over cos theta. So 1 over cos theta would be the inverse of b over c, so it would be c over b. Cosec theta is 1 over sine theta, so it's the inverse of a over c, so it's c over a. And cot theta is 1 over tan theta, or the inverse of tan theta, so it's B over A. So let's have a quick look now. In green, we'll do the same thing, but we'll do um, sec 90 minus theta. We'll do cosec 90 minus theta. And we'll do cot 90 minus theta. Okay, get my value. So likewise, sec theta, again, that's 1 over cos theta. So it's C over A in this case because it's the inverse of um, cos. It's cosec, inverse of sine, so it's C over B. And then cot is the inverse of tan, so it's A over B in this case. And now this is going to give us some more relationships because you'll notice now that tan theta equals A over B. 
What else equals a over b? Ooh. Cot 90 minus theta. Because they are both equal a over b. And then we start seeing a few other things too. Sec theta and cosec theta are equal. So sec theta equals cosec 90 minus theta. We also can see there that cosec theta is equal to the complementary of the other one, which is our sec 90 minus theta. Okay, so you can start seeing some relationships here. So what does this mean in, in, in reality? Well, what it means that, for example, I'm going to try to do it, let's say, just down here. If I know that we have sine 30, we know that's equal to cos 60. Because 60 and 30 make 90. We know that tan 40 has the same value of cot. 50, because 50 and 40 make 90. We know that if we had, for example, um, sec 20, that has the same value of cosec 70. Okay, so you can start seeing that we've got some similarities here, so these relationships, by looking at their complementary angles. Now, what type of questions do you think you might be asked when looking at complementary angles? Um, there can be a few things that, that we can look at. Right, for example, we can be asked to f simplify, let's say, cos 61 plus sine 29. Now, when we're asked to simplify, we don't want to estimate or we don't want to, um, I guess, give an approximation. So if we use that calculator for this exercise, we'd be having to round up. So we don't want to do that. We want to simplify. So what we're going to do, we're going to either turn them both into cos or both into sine. Both will work. So let's say we put them both into cos. So we've got cos 61 plus. Now we know if we've got sine 29, well, the complementary of sine 29 is cos 90 take away 29, which in fact equals 61. So actually now we've got two lots of cos 61. That's my answer. Okay, so let's have a look at a, uh, another bit more challenge, challenging one. We've got cot 25 plus 1065 all over cot 25. So again, we want to simplify, so we don't want to find uh, you know, an estimation or approximation for it. So we've got cot 25, tan 65, cot 25, so we can put it into you know, let's put it into cot because we've already got two of them there. So let's go cot 25 plus. Now, tan 65, the, the complementary of tan 65 will be cot 90 take away 65, which will be cot 25, all over cot 25. So actually, I've got cot 25 is common. It goes in there once, goes in there once, goes in there once. So I've actually got 1 plus 1, which equals 2. And that would have worked out how I turn, turn it to 1065 plus 1065 all over 1065. Okay, um, I'm going to go one more challenging question here. Let's look at this one where it says um, find the value. I'm going to go a tough one here of k. So this is a bit of like an, an equation here. So find the value of 10, 15 minus k equals cot 2k plus 60. Now this is an equation, but using our complementary angles, we're going to turn them both into either both into 10 or both into cot. Alrighty, this is tough. So the whole idea we want to make these left and right to both have the same trig ratio. So both to be tan or both to be cot. Again, it's up to you which one you want to do. Um, for this instance, I'm going to turn them to be both into cot. Why not? Okay. But if you want to do tan, you go ahead and do tan. It'll work out the same. But in this case, we know that 
10, 15 minus k, well, that equals cot 90 minus this angle here. Okay, equals cot 2k plus 60. Okay, so all I've done there, are, I've said that the complementary of 10, this angle, is cot 90 minus this angle. So let's simplify now. We've got cot, well, 90 minus 15 equals 75, and then we have a minus and a minus k, so it becomes a plus k. Equals, and we'll put that back in brackets, cot 2k plus uh, 60. So basically what you've got here is that these two things, cot this angle and cot this angle, are equal. So in fact, we can actually write 75 plus k equals 2k plus 60, because both those angles are shown to be equal now. And now it just becomes a normal equation. What's the opposite of um, plus k? Well, it's minus k. What's the opposite of plus 60? It's minus 60. So 75 minus 60 equals 15. 2k minus k equals k. Therefore, k is equal to 15. Look at that. It's a pretty tough question, hey? Why don't we just do one more just to make sure that we've got the hang of it. Again, why don't you pause this just to make sure that you, um, that you are right. So we're going to find the value of t in the following. So let's do, let's say, we'll stay with cots. Cot um, 2t plus 5 equals 10, 3t minus 15. Now last time we went to cot, so how about we go to 10. So as I said before, pause this, have a crack at it, try going to 10 because that's what I'm going to be going to, and then um, play it to see if you got it right. Okay, welcome back hopefully, hopefully you've got an answer. Um, so let's say we know that 10 is the complementary angle of cot this angle. So that means 10, 90 minus this angle, 2t plus 5 is equal to 10, 3t minus 15. Likewise, you could have turned this into, into cot if you wanted to. Okay, so let's simplify this a little bit. 90 minus 5 equals 85 minus 2t equals 10, 3t minus 15. You can put brackets around there if you would like. And now what we've got, we've got both the same ratios, trig, trig ratios, so we've got one angle is equal to the other angle. So 85 minus 2t is equal to 3t minus 15. Now, this is a normal solving. I'm going to go to the right-hand side again because this has got the biggest amount of t's. The opposite of minus t, 2t is plus 2t. The opposite of minus 15 is plus 15. So 15 plus 85 is 100. 3t plus 2t is 5t. Therefore, t is equal to, well, opposite of times 5 is divided by 5, equals 20. Did you get that answer? I hope you did. Guys, the second part of this is tough. The most important part at the moment is to remember that the complementary of sine is 9, or sine theta is 90 minus theta for cos. Opposite of cos theta is sine 90 minus cos. 10, okay, is cot. Cosec is sec and sec is cosec, etc. Learn it, learn it, learn it, because it's going to help you in the next coming uh, few lessons. Enjoy.